Welcome to my lecture online. Before we show you how to normalize the function, let's show you what the general solution looks like for the quantum mechanic oscillator. So we have the function here, the wave function is equal to some constant that needs to be normalized times e to the minus m omega x squared over 2h bar times the Hermitian operator for a particular quantum state. And so if we now take c sub n, you'll see that once we normalize it, this is what that will look like. It'll look like 2mf, the, the, the uh, frequency of, of the oscillation, divided by h bar to the one-fourth power times 2 to the n times n factorial to the minus one-half power. We still have the function e to the minus m omega x squared over 2h bar and the Hermitian operator. So since f can be written as omega divided by 2 pi, this can be simplified to m omega over pi h bar to the 1 fourth power. The rest looks exactly the same. And now we're going to show you what the equation looks like for the first three quantum states. For the zero quantum state, notice nothing changes here. That will always stay the same. But here we have 1 over, zero, or one over 2 to the 0 power times 0 factorial. That simply would be 1. So 1 divided by 1 is simply 1. We still have the same exponential function, and the Hermitian operator for the zero quantum state is equal to 1. For the, for the quantum state n equals 1, this part still stays the same, but now we have 1 over 2 to the first power times 1 factorial, so that would be 1 over the square root of the 2. The exponential function stays the same, and the Hermitian operator now becomes 2x times the square root of m omega over h bar. And then for the second quantum state, this portion of the uh, normalization stays the same. Now we have n equals 2, so it's 2 to the second power, that's 4. 2 factorial is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, so that goes 1 over the square root of 8. We still have an exponential function, and now we have the, the next Hermitian operator, which would be 4x squared minus 2. But of course, before the x squared, we still have an m omega over h bar. It was the square root of that square, so we get... 4m omega over h bar times x squared minus 2 for the Hermitian operator. So this is what all the solutions will look like, at least for the first three quantum states. And now we're going to show you how to actually normalize the equation. That's how it's done.